San Francisco Mayor London Breed is pushing for Proposition E, which would broaden police policies and procedures. Voters will be asked to decide on the issue when that measure appears on the March 5th ballot. KTV's Christian Captain joins us now live from the city. And Christian, civil liberty advocates are arguing these new powers would erode privacy and reduce oversight. Yeah, that's exactly right, Julie. As you said, this came out of the mayor's office, and a lot of attention has been paid so far to the technology side to this proposition, but it would also expand the police uh, uh, ability to go on pursuits. In San Francisco, Proposition E would allow police to begin using new technology like drones and cameras, reduce the paperwork for officers to get them back on the streets faster, and would change the city's pursuit policy to allow officers to pursue suspects in nonviolent felonies and violent misdemeanors. Michael Shu says that would have helped him after burglars recently hit his shop. He says police showed up just as those burglars were leaving, but the officers couldn't chase those suspects down. But after watching the video, they let them go. And that's when I called the police station and said, hey, what happened? And they told me they couldn't give chase because uh, due to some policy. The head of the city's Police Officers Association says her organization also backs Proposition E. She says current policy ties up her officers and in many cases prevents them from apprehending repeat offenders. We don't need policies that are filled with basically ideological bullshit. We don't need that. What we need is common sense. San Francisco Mayor London Breed put the proposition on the ballot, saying it would help police serve the city better. Our police officers are not stupid. They know the difference, and they know what they probably would need to do in order to make the right decision to ensure that the public is safe in any pursuit. But privacy and civil liberty groups are warning about Proposition E, calling it a year-long experiment that would roll back protections voters explicitly put in place just four years ago. The ACLU has called Proposition E an attempt to exploit voters' frustrations with crime to distract from an unpopular mayor's record. And the Electronic Frontier Foundation called Proposition E a looming threat to privacy and civil liberties, saying the proposition would eliminate oversight and would give police free reign to use what it calls unproven and dangerous technology. And this is a absolute recipe for civil rights violations and an increase in discriminatory policing. And voters will have their say when they go to the voting booths on March 5th. We're live in San Francisco. Christian Kaft, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Christian, thank you.